Hey everyone, so today I have this mini quick DIY tutorial on how to make a monogram lily pulitzer background for your computer or your phone or whatever else you want to use it for. I will have everything that I used in the video linked in the down bar below, so such as the font, the editing, and where you can get it. Also, don't forget to enter my giveaway and because it ends February 8th and that's coming up soon. And also, follow my Instagram because there's a picture of my laptop with a Lily Pulitzer background on it and it's monogram. So you definitely should follow me there. And that's all I really have to say. So let's just get into the tutorial. So this is what the final product of what we will be making today and this is what it looks like. So first thing you're going to want to do is open up Safari or your internet, whatever you have. This works on both Mac and um, Windows. So you want First, you want a Lily Pulitzer background or any other background of choice that you wish to monogram. And usually people side with the Lily Pulitzer monogram, so that's what I'm doing and that's what the one on my desktop is. So, But anyway, you can use any monogram background or any background you like. So what I did was type in Lily Pulitzer background on Google. And I just went to images and I saved whatever picture that I liked. So the one I have now is this one, the first impressions. So I will just take that and right click and click save to downloads. The next thing you're gonna wanna make sure to do is make sure you have the monogram font on your computer. I had to download mine and mine is the monogram, um, I have two and it's the monogram KK and the monogram KKSC. And they both are pretty similar. They're basically the fine inter, um, intertwined uh, font. So if you don't have that, then you're going to want to type in on Google free monogram KK SC font or KK or yeah. And I got mine from defont.com. And basically what you did was you go on there, and this is safe, and you click this button right here. And I'm zooming in right here, and it says download. And you just click that button, and it'll download to your um, download folder. And then you just open up your downloads folder, and you click that, and you open it up. And then you click right here where it says install font and you install it. But I already have it on my computer, so I'm not gonna reinstall it. So that's basically all you need from the internet, except this right here, GIMP. It's a photo editing program, and this is what I used to, or edit my photos and stuff. So you want to, it's free as well, so if you just type in GIMP on Google, and you can get it for free. So that's what I have to edit the thing, and that's all you basically need from the internet. So now what I'm going to do is open up GIMP, no, file open, that's what I'm going, file open, and then in my downloads, I'm just opening the first impressions picture that I got from Google. And if your tools aren't open, just open new toolbox and tools, and that will be open. So now, once you have this opened up, which is basically the image and your tools on the left side, you're going to want to click this A right here, and I'll zoom in so you can see, and you're going to click it so that it is selected as so. Now you're going to want to go to the image, and I'm zooming out again. Now you're going to want to go to the image and trace out a box, kind of like you're drawing a text box on Word. So I just drew out my box, and I'm going to put in my monogrammed initials. So uh, first I'm setting the font. Once you have your text box drawn, you're gonna wanna go and click the font and click monogram and select the monogram um, font you wish to choose. Mine was the monogram um, KKC, KKSC. And then I'm gonna type in my initials and how you want your initials to be ordered is first name, last name, and middle name and it's gonna be lowercase, uppercase, and lowercase. So what I'm going to do is type in K, um, I'm going to make my uppercase M and then a lowercase S, and then I'm going to highlight it and make it bigger. What I normally like to do is go to 500, 
because that's usually what I find the biggest what oh I completely skipped the M there it goes <laughs> there's my M now what you're gonna want to do is highlight the font and go to the second box and you're gonna want to smush them together so that they are kind of um so that it it's not like all spread out and weird looking and if you find that your font is traveling to the left and it's going out of the box all you have to do is click behind the K and put a space there to bring it back into frame so basically from here I'm just gonna smush them together in the end my monogram ended up being size 500 and negative 129.0 um, with and between the letters. The move tool, I'm selecting that and positioning my monogram to be centered into um, the picture. And I'm just moving that where I feel the very center is. So after I've got my monogram where I wanted it, I'm going to go to file, export, and I'm just going to export um, my image as a JPEG, as you can see here. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to make sure the quality is set on 100. And I'm exporting it. And that's basically all you have to do editing wise for your monogram and I'm just going to close this without saving now and then it should be on your desktop if you save it to desktop I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, it was quick and easy and if you want any more kind of videos like this then comment down below and let me know if you have any video requests as well then make sure you comment down below them before I end this video I have a huge question to ask everyone Lately, I have been thinking about starting up my own store on a site called Store Envy. And if I do, I would be selling things like this. This is an example of a monogrammed first impressions inspired painting that I have. And it would be on a canvas thicker than this. Not this one's a kind of a thin canvas. But it, I would have Lily Pulitzer um, paintings with monograms and just any like type of painting pretty much that's preppy and pretty and cute. So this is an example of one and I'd also be selling bows such as this and this is just an example of a bow that I have made and it would have like a little claw clip in the back or like the little snappy ones. So if you think I should open up a store and sell these hyper products and you would buy it, definitely comment down below and let me know because this is a big decision. And I really want to invest my time in this, so please just let me know. And if I do open up the store, I will be starting to monogram stuff as well because I'm getting a embroidery machine soon. So make sure you comment down below, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Peace out, pretties.